Hello friends, it's Big Dano, just by myself at the moment, but I'm about to get one of our great painters and assistants in the wonderful world of Crimson Brush to just show us some of his models. It's the great Andrew Buckley, the actual host of the stream, the hostess with the mostest, Buxo. Oh, mate. Buxo. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello, hello. It's Chris and Mari. Hi, g'day. No, we're here. We're live. Bux really likes this little job, don't you? I love it, mate. Makes you feel like a real interviewer, doesn't it? And adds an air of, uh, of professionalism. Not professionalism, mystique. yeah, very good. So we just had a little wander out on the on the floor. We did, yes. Big big event. Um, yep. I'm, I'm going to lay him out here. Where is where is Combat Company when you need it? Yeah, where's Combat Company? Where, where are, are you guys? Come on, guys. You've been here every year. One it, year we need you. It was a dire situation. There was some sabotage late last night. Ben X Layton. He attacked your models. He went after me last Well, time. I thought we might show off your models. Andy's about to enter his models into standard, I assume. Yes. <laughs> Am I allowed? No, you fuckwit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Welcome. Andy's going to show off some of his models. All right. I'm ask penetrating and insightful questions about them. Sure. If we're lucky, I will come up to uh, penetrating <laughs> questions. Uh, All righty. Get that out of my hands. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start with Let's go. All right, so this is a little gene stealer. This is a little, like, just a little termagant, really. Um, yeah, just a fun little model that got painted this year. Um, this color scheme was like a pretty, I think this color scheme got a bit of a, a, a vibe for being a tough one. So I thought, let's go after it and see what we can yeah, do. Yeah, it's good. It came out pretty well. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Some, some nice little elements to it, like we got some, some, some base stuff going on here. Uh, what I wanted to show you with this, right, very simply is a flat base can still be really interesting. Flat bases can be interesting, yeah. So we've got, you know, we've got some numbers. And that some... base is so flat it's making the walls jealous, yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. And we've got some alien blood in here and then you've got like a weird Ooh, kind of like... a bit of coloured light happening yeah, too. Yeah, a bit of like terror of the warp I'd love to see a little on. bit of that coloured light reflected on the model and not just the base. Sure. That's totally fine. <laughs> I've just come in swinging there. Well, where would I put it, mate? Would I put it on the back of his legs? You yeah, tell just me. there. A little, bit of, little bit of that Bobby Dazzler on the yeah. back there. You know, <laughs> I, I appreciate what you're saying, but this is um, this is painted in a particular style. Yes. The Warhammer style. Yes, and, and it's atmospheric, lovely. Atmospheric's it's lovely. not really a thing in, in the Warhammer style. That's great, little little genie. And this 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 great model, the Tour of Duty, won gold at uh, Ark Open and, and Guilds Inn. Yeah, so this is its last stop. This is its last last hurrah. But uh, I can I can tell you this is a, this is an absolutely stunning piece, mate. And I, I don't I don't know that. Uh, uh, let's zoom in. Zoom no, no, that's not zoom. Yep, yeah, no, no, that's oh, that's, that's, light, that's yeah. exposure. Yeah. Don't fuck around with exposure. Leave that. Fucking, hey, we, this is about as good as sat gem. This is this is our normal saturation generation effect. So there we go. So this model is. Uh, very small. Like this is this is my finger beside it, yeah. and that's my finger. You always have paint on your fingernails. I've always yeah, got paint on my fingernails. So we go around. It's it is. It is an immaculate little piece. Yeah. Yeah. It is a conversion. For a lot of people don't don't recognise that as a conversion, but it is. Um, some elements that I like. I'm a fan of the. I love the base. I love the base. The base. The base. Here. So here's something I don't think we see enough of, and that is negative space in the base. Yeah. Look at that. You'd, you'd expect to see that base built up with rocks and what have you. Yeah. And yet here we have just a whole empty bit underneath. And I love that. I'm here that? for it. Yeah. I think the criticism I've received is that a T-bar shouldn't really be able to hold this. But um, well, to those who gave me that criticism, I know who you are, you cheeky <laughs> bugger. It's fantasy. It's not real. <laughs> to those people who say a T-bar, I say this is a fantasy T-bar. Yep. And, and you need to watch Pacific Rim where eight helicopters lifted a giant robot, right? Yeah. <laughs> if, if they can lift a giant robot, that T-bar can lift one commissar. Let's do an outward zoom just so you can see the whole Yeah, the whole piece. Because that's where it shines, I think. Oh, there look at that. Is. What a piece. Yeah. Love the composition of that. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, and this one was really for, for ARC. It's something to celebrate what ARC's about. It's an ARC 40K model and it's yeah. a great piece. So. Let's move on to some something that's actually good now. Yeah, let's go and celebrate. Uh, oh, some historical. Historical elements. Uh, Look at uh, him! Look at him! What a great guy! Now you you have some. We're probably going to zoom again here. Can we? Can yeah, we zoom. zoom. Yeah. So uh, just oh, put put, put your hand here. Yeah. There's a little. Uh, you yeah. got you. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Other way. To, other way to go back. Yeah. Other way. Just just you, you do. What? <laughs> this is. 
this is a tragedy. Yeah. When the feeling's gone and you can't move on. Yeah. So this here is uh, like a French knight painted in very traditional historical. I, I love it when there's a model that's got a so badly sculpted face that yeah. you just can't paint it. Yeah. I don't think it, I don't think his face is that bad. It's pretty bad. You have to take it up with Fernando. Fernando. What's going on here? Um, yeah. Just a, just a, it's okay. Yeah, it's just a clean history. I like the piece. colours. It's clean. It's neat. I, I, I like, I like it all. This would be. I think this would be at home on anyone's historical shelf. I think so. Collecting historical. If anyone's interested in collecting the historical, it's already uh, sold, isn't it's it? It's already sold. That's it's gone. So you can't yeah, buy it. You can't but, buy that. I'm but sorry. Maybe you could ask Bucks next time. Uh, let's um, let's go to the muscle. I don't like this model, but you you like it. You don't like this figure, do you? No, well, I don't. I, I don't really like your paint job that much of this figure. I don't like the blonde hair. I think I did. I, I expressed that to you, didn't I? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, I like everything else. Yeah. yeah. So it's a bit of spaghetti hair. Uh, yeah. Blonde is, is the choice for a reason. But yeah, this is a this is a big muscle. He's a big man. boy. I painted both of the the uh, breasts, the old breasts barbarian last year and, and so Solrak this year. Um, this one is also gone. Sold also. Um, Anything you've got that isn't sold already, mate? Uh, the Commissar, but that DC wants it. All right, we'll tell DC you can pay for it, mate. He's uh, earning enough on his commissions these uh, days. Um, and um, the two new ones. Oh, no, one's gone already of the new ones. Um, and Alyssa's not gone. Yeah, well, that's uh, understandable. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love that face you're doing. Here. He's trying to tear me down because we just get into each other. I love it. I love him. He's 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 up there alongside Dave Cole as the best painter in Australia, and people don't know enough about young Andrew Buckley. Yeah, so so we're building out. his brand right now. This is a fantastic paint job and a fantastic piece. So let's uh, let's show some of the new stuff, mate. What do we got that it's it's a bit bit newish? So I, I went through some stuff yeah. and, and took a break from painting. I had a lot of family stuff on. So what I brought is more just stuff that I would like personally. Uh, so we have this one here. Uh, now this might, might receive criticisms for being quite a bland piece, and that's okay, that's fair. Uh, but everyone paints this model like it's a god, yeah? He's a hard model to paint though. Like. He's a man. He's a very hard model to paint. He's... Because sometimes you see the basic models are the most deceptively difficult, I think. Yeah, I mean, if you want to tackle a beard that big, sculpted in a very particular style that I think most people shy away from. Yeah. Um, there you go. So this is the messenger, or I like to call it clarity of purpose. Clarity of purpose. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, I learned a lot about why I do this when I was painting this. Great. Um, so... Well, I think it, I think it's a wonderful masterclass in skin and hair. Yep. Uh, I think the texture's pretty pretty clean. Texture's if you get solid, it yeah, yeah. And then I think this gem down here has actually got a little that's bit solid, going on. That's solid. Yep. I'm okay with it. Alrighty. So uh, this one here has been to one event and won a gold medal at Guilds Inn. Um, but this is Eunice. There's been some changes to Eunice. As uh, there, she's on a new base. She didn't work on the square plinth, so she's on a circle one. You don't like this model at all. I despise this model. Yeah, yeah. and I find it hard to get past that. Yeah, I know. You've got, you've got. It's tough because you know I. So I'll let you in on a little secret. I very rarely know what I'm going to paint before I sit down and paint. Yeah, good. I have yeah. a few things there that I go. And this one came out before Guilty. Yeah. Would I have chosen this in hindsight for a competition? No. But I don't paint for a competition. I paint for me and what comes, comes. So this is Eunice. This one is actually inspired by, it's called Theodora and... Um, Theodora and Dorothy, and it's inspired by The Wizard of Oz. Okay. So Theodora the Witch has got Dorothy and polyjuiced her oh, yeah, into, a, nice. into a duck into or a, a goose, swan. and is a now goose. keeping her that way. So if you have a look in the back, Dorothy's got a little... Red blue, shoes. Blue, <laughs> ruby red boots. That's very good. So, That's very good. Uh, so there's that one. Uh, something that you're generally pretty fond of. Big muscly men. Breast. I think no. This is not breast. This is oh, sorry, uh, this, this is, is bear crom. Yeah. Yeah. What's there to say? I love this. Yeah. This is this is everything that the other one's not. Which Every, one? Well, whatever one I didn't like. The Soul Soul yeah. yeah. I think this just lands better. Okay. I think the skin is is more complex and interesting. I think the. Uh, you would be on drugs, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get what you're saying. I would go the opposite. 
So, well, you painted them. So. Yeah, Solrak's skin is way harder to do than Bear Crom's. But Bear Crom's is bigger. Oh, so stuff I just happens. yawned like five yeah. times. It might be Red Bull time yeah. for the big dog. Anyway, that's the beautiful thing about miniatures. We all see different things in we them. We do. And you've you... got two more left that I'm excited to see because yeah. I think these are an evolution for you, these like, yeah, next two. hopefully. Um, this one has a lot of sentimental value. It does. Like, not just for me, for you. Yes. Like, there's a whole story behind Bear Crom. But yeah, this is this is the big man himself. Also, gone. Sold also. Gone. Fair enough. So anyone that wants to buy an Andrew Buckley original, you're shit out of luck. <laughs> uh, one of the weirdest things I've ever painted. Uh, Alicia. Now I find this to be tremendous. It's yeah. complex. It's interesting. Yeah. It's unique color palette. You don't see a lot of color palettes that use this for skin tones. It's monochromatic. Well, I don't know what that means, but I like it. It means that everything is in, in roughly in hues of itself, right? Yeah, so, no, I like it a lot. Yeah, so I changed just a few little things, just tightened it up a little bit, um, darkened the front here. Um, yeah, I, w I wish we could zoom it out a bit because it gives it a bit of a better look. If we can I'll zoom it out a bit, mate, but you're going to break something, I'm sure. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's where it is, though. So that's her. And then I guess something in a similar vein, my last thing that I've got this year... Is this one? So this one I painted up until the lead up, and this here is uh, King something, Rolf or John. His name's Jimothy? Charles, but we call him the King in Red the or the King, King in, in Crimson. The King in Crimson, oh, yeah. what else? Uh, and this is a Lucas Arbor sculpt. Um, this is a hand sculpt. It is. And I have learned a lot about the difference between painting something that has been sculpted by hand versus something that has been sculpted digitally. digitally. Um, vastly different experience. Yeah, so I've not shown anyone this, really, because I've just not had time to. Uh, the only person that's seen it up until now is Ben, so first reactions, Deno. I very much like it, mate. Yeah. I really love that uh, that cloak and yeah. the and the shirt. Yeah. To me, that's very Zaba-esque. Yeah. And I really like the way Zaba paints. I think mm -hmm. they suit his sculpting style. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad you noticed that because I, when I was doing this, I was thinking, Lucas Zaba has a very unique style, and a lot of his sculpts are, I think, are designed with the way he paints in mind, right? Um, so I wanted to do something very different to what they are, but have something that. So I kind of tied it back to the original concepts. So, yeah. I think it's I great. I think it, if, if I looked at all the pieces on the table, I think that one is the one of yours that feels the most refined and yeah. the most uh, pr progressed. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's the best, mm -hmm. like, uh, but certainly a strong candidate. It's interesting, mate. So we, we're... Uh, we're showing off all of your models, and we haven't done that with anyone else, and we're not doing that because uh, we, we want uh, you to be the only story of the Crimson Rush. But no, far from it. I think, it's, I think it's good for people to see uh, one of the reasons why I selected you to be the host of this stream mm -hmm. um, is because you are pushing boundaries for Australian miniature painting, yep. and also you're very willing to share your time mm -hmm. and effort and energy with other people mm -hmm. in an avenues of helping now. Yes. Ben and Bunny have just walked in having a blow up. What do you need us for? I found Pillars of Strength Boosters, $10 a pack. What are Strength Boosters? Uh, it's uh, One Piece cards. Oh, right. Anyway. We'll talk soon. <laughs> Apparently, Andy needs to go and buy some stuff. No, so. no, no, I'm all good. No, let, let's um, let, let, let finish the thought, I guess. So, um, look, yeah, so I just think it's it's good for us to show, first of all, why we chose you to host the stream. Mm -hmm. Obviously, charismatic, obviously, a good painter. Also, willing to share your time and generous with other people and supporting them. Mm -hmm. You know, being a great, uh, a great foil for young Dave Colwell. I think you've both made each other better. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just really cool to, to have other people uh, waving the flag for Australian painters uh, at what I would say is a very high level. So um, we'll see we'll see how your pieces perform. Uh, uh, look, I, the one thing I want to say this year is I don't um, I don't conform well all the time to stuff. And something that I wanted to do is maybe, and I, I can't influence this on the judges, so I can talk to you about it. You can. Is I wanted to paint a display, not a single figure, right? And so if you look across everything I've painted, there should 
be levels of uni uniformity that connect things together. There is. And then if you reflect on what I painted last year, it should be quite different to what it I is did last very year. different, yeah. So this is a this is a nice display. Yeah. That, that's been the goal. He is in Masters without any shadow of a doubt, Crip Shadow. Absolutely joking if he thinks I'd let him in standard. <laughs> uh, let's okay. depart. You obviously got to go talk about One Piece, and I think I need to get a Red Bull before I crash. Uh, I will come back one more time today um, where we'll have a chat with all of the, um, the guilds members. Very uh, good. One from each state that's here representing. So what do you reckon, 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 tops. 10 yeah. minutes, we'll be back. Yeah. Thank you all, friends. No Goodbye. Worries.